Today we're going to learn how to capture tracking data using a plugin from After Effects called Mocha. And we will start by double clicking in the project panel and importing our two assets. Let's drag the video into a new comp and take a look at it. So I hit zero on the keypad to take a look at the shot. And we see we've got a shot of mimes. And what we need to do is we need to put these mimes behind a fence because mimes are not people. And so we'll drag down our second asset, which is this seamless tile of a fence. And we will repeat it with the motion tile plugin. And what we'll do is we'll set our output width to a thousand and our output height to a thousand make it a very big layer um, the fence seems a little too small so let's hit s as our hot key and let's expand that till it looks about right that looks better that looks fancy now you'll see that the light on this tile is coming from the lower left hand corner but the light on our subjects is coming from the upper right so let's rotate our tile, I'll hit the hotkey R, and we're going to rotate that 90 degrees. And so now the light's coming the right way, but our fence doesn't look right. So we'll go back to scale, we'll unlink it, and we'll make it a little fatter till it's square. So now the light looks right, our fence looks right, and as we render it, we'll see that we've got this handheld cam camera that bobs left and right, and our fence does not look right. So what we're going to do so we're going to create, we're going to capture the motion in this shot and we are going to take that data and parent it to the fence and make it all work together seamlessly. And we'll do that by opening Mocha. So click on the video uh, layer and click on animation, track in Mocha AE and it will open Mocha. Register later. It's sending it to the uh, file that I opened which is fine and so let's go ahead and scrub down here's our shot now what we need to do um, the uh, the tracking tools that you've learned to use up till now uh, use pixels individual pixels to track with and as you've learned that they don't work very well and it takes a lot of work to make them accurate what Mocha, uh, what Mocha AE will do is actually capture a plane of pixels and create much more accurate data. But what we need to do is tell the software what is the foreground and what is the background. Um, if we look at this shot, you'll see that these trees up here are basically in the shot the whole time. And so that's what we are going to use to capture our data. Okay, so back at the beginning, we will create our first plane. We will click on Create X-Spline Layer Tool. And I'm going to make five points. And then I'm going to right-click back where we started to complete it. Now, we're going to scrub down our video. And as you can see here, that our tracking points have walked away so we're going to scrub this back here to include them and we'll scrub back to make sure that we didn't lose it so now we'll keep coming down keep coming down until we have a problem again ah we've got some foreground here so let's adjust our tracking data let's go backwards see if we still got a problem, so no hand, no hand, no hand. We kind of have lost the point of that tree, though. And grab more tree again. We'll back up, make sure that our tree points are in. We don't have any foreground problems, but we've lost our tree points again. Okay, 
Okay, so that's good. Okay, here we've lost our tree data again. Make sure that our tree stays. Grab some more tree. Get away from this mime. little preview windows will walk out of the way when you get near them. Okay, and we'll go backwards slowly and everything looks good. Okay, and we need to create that tracking data so we will track forward and it will Follow the shot frame by frame and we'll just monitor it to make sure that no bogeys interfere with our world. Now we will export that tracking data, make sure it goes to After Effects Transform Data, and we will copy it to the clipboard, and we will now go back to After Effects. And what we're going to do is we are going to create a null object, and I'm going to hit Return to rename it uh, Trans Tracking Data. Okay. Make sure that we are at the beginning of the comp and we will hit command V to paste it in there and if I hit the letter U it will show us all the tracking data that's been pasted. So um, now we just need to clean this up a little bit. Uh, we don't need the scale data so we will click on the stopwatch and throw it away. Let's click on anchor point and we are going to command C to copy that and we're going to paste that into position with command V and then we will throw away the anchor point data and we will zero out our anchor point and when we scrub down we will see that our anchor point data does a really good job of following that background okay now we'll just parent our chain link fence to that tracking data. I'll hit zero on the keypad and now the fence moves naturally with the background and the last thing we need to do is uh, make our fence just a little bit more believable. We'll start by blurring it out a little bit. We've, we've basically we've scaled it up so big that it looks all pixelated and so we'll create a soft foreground. We'll drag in the camera blur and that is too blurry so we'll set the blur radius to 3 still too blurry let's set it to 2 that's good and then let's go ahead and create a little motion blur to replicate the motion blur that happens in the video and preview that now that looks much more believable and go ahead and render that